My name is John Humphreys. Um, I'm a sculptor. I go for a walk every day on the beach, usually after I finish work. Sometimes you don't see a soul. Uh, occasionally you have incredible things happen. You're the only person on the beach and a Lancaster bomber appears out of the mist like it's come from back through time. That's astonishing. Last year uh, I waved to one of the Spitfires flying past my house and he tipped his wings and waved back at me kind of thing. It's fantastic. It's really solid and it's very it's soundproofed in here, it's really quiet. And because it was built to house a searchlight, it has panoramic views in all directions. Now, I really, really, as a small boy, wanted to try and make a sword. I was really keen on making a real metal sword, <laughs> and this was in my mind. And I, uh, thinking back, I must have been only about five or six as I contemplated <laughs> this impossible task. But um, I got there in the end with my metal, uh, how to make turn things into metal anyway. My, my sculptures are distorted sculptures and what I'm trying to do with them is hint at a fourth dimension, our concepts of reality. So you have to start thinking like an artist, you have to start using the spatial department in your brain to try and resolve the problems I'm actually giving you. I'm quite interested in the concept of how we deal with shock and understand shock when we're knocked sideways and things don't seem real anymore or when things seem to slow down and have a, we have a completely different take on reality and we see things in a very different way. We, always, we expect the world to stop for a while but it just carries on spinning round while we become stationary. These sculptures hint at that sense of disorientation and alienation. Sometimes when I'm working on one of these pieces um, for long enough, what happens is you begin to accept the distorted shape that you've created is the norm. This shape now has become your reality. I remember one day I was working on the Baby Jesus sculpture and I went down to the pub in the evening for a well-earned drink and uh, everyone had long pointy ears like this. And I couldn't figure it out. I thought, is everyone into bed down here or something? What's, what's wrong, you know? And then in a flash, I suddenly realized my normality had changed. And in fact, I was seeing things wrong. And when you look at my work, can you get your head around what you're looking at? <laughs> 